Hello everyone! Kiss Driver is one of Studio Trigger's earlier titles. It's not as famous as Kill Kill or Little Witch Academia, which is unfortunate since it was pretty fun. It has good art design and vibrant cast. The series is all about their bonds and mentors. However, the occasional messy story and forceful execution prevent it from being truly great. Kiss Driver is about a group of students who are kidnapped and experimented upon, so they would share their pain among each other. They must learn to coexist and survive together, until a certain time limit. In storytelling, normally you want the cast to create a relationship, let it mature and progress organically so the audience can relate to them. This pain-sharing narrative might work. It's not anything new, some titles tried it before. But it can also backfire as it bypassed the process of nurturing relationship, practically smashing them together in hope to create any emotional reaction, like a twisted Truman Show. And the good thing is, these characters are pretty good, much credit to the writing. For example, when Honoka, the cold nature girl, is being approached by Yuta, the egocentric boy, she responds with, only someone who has complex with appearance would value everyone by their looks and proceed by saying that he had bigger breasts than hers, because he was fat. It was sharp, witty, and fits her personality. Kiss Knifer has these little moments, interactions between the cast that feels light and entertaining, at least half of the time. At its best, it takes typical anime situations, somewhat fan service moments like the summer firework or test of courage scene, and uses them as setting for crafty dialogues. The series knows it can be cheesy with these tropes, sometimes straight up mentioning them. It tries to use this as their advantage, but in the end, it still did the same routine. At the worst, it strong armed the cast into specific situations to squeeze that emotional response. The result is very predictable and not in good taste, especially later on when the atmosphere gets really heavy. It crumbles into this love pentagon and everyone just keeps getting hurt, physically and emotionally. Every time this happens, the anime has glitchy static effect and excessive expressions. There's even a scene where everyone just shouts, it hurts, for a few minutes. It really hammers down on this gimmick, like it's trying to send the sensation to the audience. Not saying that the narrative cannot work. If used properly and sparingly, it can definitely be effective. The series has those moments, but towards the end, it just feels overbearing and forced. Sadly, it is somewhat diminished the gravity of the narrative and some of the better writing it had. Kiss Knifer could have done with a bit more subtlety. We don't need exposition of how the pain feels in every episode. We need to feel the distance between the characters. A silent voice did this perfectly, down to the same situations. Although comparing to movie might be unfair, so for the series, we can look to Jihaya Furu or Rakugo. They show the audience how to connect by reading between the lines. Still, his Sniper has another saving grace, the stylist art design. In the 12 episodes run, there's not a single one that has weak visual. From how aesthetically pleasing its character is, and how the scenery can be so sublime, you can see how much talent Studio Trigger had. This was even before Little Witch Academia. Sure, sometimes it feels like eye candy, but I'm impressed by the consistency of the quality. I think it's even better when the characters show more subdued expression. They look amazing. Their hairdo and fashionable clothes are nothing short of gorgeous. The use of sharp colors and highlights add more nuance to any scene. It's designed to evoke emotions, like the solitary feeling amidst the rain. And yeah, admittedly, just like the story, the visual can go overboard as well, in attempt to create that dramatic tension. The series just cannot escape its own heavy-handed approach. Rather than delivering empathy and compassion over time, Kiss Knifer, both the series and the characters, feel like they are forced to show these emotions in a strict format and a time limit. Honestly, the very theme of sharing pain is flawed. It cannot just drop word peace as a motive, and even if we entertain the idea, 
there are too many obstacles to be applicable, which the series even admits at some points. I enjoy the art and many of the interactions, but I believe it could have used subtle approaches or done the narrative device differently to reach better and more genuine bonds. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I really like Studio Trigger, but admittedly, their over-the-top direction might not work here. His sniper needs more care and patience in presenting the human drama beyond just shallow sensations. That's it, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make 3 videos every week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.